Welcome back. We are here looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for August, Friday, the 13th, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we did rally a little bit today, but uh, I still expect this to pull back towards the middle of the bullish band before going higher. If we manage to take out the highs here, then we are going to head towards 94. Uh, but uh, still, I do expect some of the move like this before going higher. MACD is still bullish. Stochastic is uh, flat at this point, and the RSI is bullish as well. We have kind of changed the trend a bit, but it's not until we basically break above uh, 93.4, and to probably also these moving out and uh, um, these highs here of 94 that we may see this go significantly higher. So let's look at oil. So oil has kind of been all over the place, but still it looks really weak. We're making lower highs here. So three of them, and we have the bottom here of roughly 65. Uh, the question is what about basically what happens when if we get rejected here at the 20 exponential, if we roll over and break uh, 65, then we may head towards the 200 moving average roughly at the 60. If you look at MACD, we can see that it is bearish, stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is flat at this current stage. Break above 50 moving average around here is 71. Then we could go to the previous size here of 73, 75, and then 76.5. So natural gas. So natural gas has really tumbled today. I thought at one point that we were going to see a bounce from here, but no, it just slides through the middle of the bullish band and had absolutely nearly no pullback at the end of the session. And that is a very bad sign. Looking at the, these technical indicators, we can see that MACD is very bearish, the CASIC is bearish, and so is the RSI. If we get another red, red candlestick like this, similar tomorrow, then it is fairly likely that we'll head towards the 50 moving average down here at 3.6 and uh, break below here, then there will be a massive tidal wave to the downside. So let's look at copper. Yes, copper tried to rally, got towards a 4.4, and then got really rejected there. MACD is bearish, stochastic is bullish, and RSI is flat. It has been technically going sideways for a long time now. It doesn't really know where to go, either to the upside or the downside. If we were to break down from here, then probably these lows are roughly 4.1, and the around 4 would come into play, and to the highs is roughly 4.6. So let's look at gold. Yes, so gold has recovered quite a bit from this massive fall. We can look at the Fibonacci retracements for this and see where we are most likely going to see resistant. And we can see that the probably reason why we pull back here is we're running into the 50 Fibonacci retracement. If we break above here, uh, then the 61.8 at 17. 73 should come into play and then we also have the 20 exponential moving average and probably is that's as far as this will go if we rally significantly above that then we are probably going back towards 1800 but uh, that is to be seen macd is still uh, bearish stochastic is bullish and the rsi is flat so let's look at silver so silver hasn't really recovered uh, had a massive fall here all the way down to 22 dollars it rallied a bit and today we fell yet again so it look this is looking really weak and if you focus on the on the rsi it is at 70 uh, 27 which is still significantly oversold so we have not seen the bounce back from this fall and that's a fairly worrying sign for this can't go forever down it has to have a little bit of a bounce up towards the 20 exponential so this could be could be rallying roughly up towards the previous highs here, roughly 50, uh, 50 Fibonacci, around $24 before going even further down. This needs to go higher in order for us to go lower in this market. So let's look at platinum. So platinum has rallied up towards the 300 moving average. And uh, yes, question is whether or not we managed to break above here. Um, I doubt it. Most of the times that we have uh, rallied up towards the 20 exponential, it has been broken, breaking down 
over and over again. And now we just probably will do the same thing and head back down. MACD is still bearish. Stochastic is bullish and RSI is flat as well. Take this out. Then we are looking at the much lower levels, roughly around this area here, uh, roughly 900. So let's look at Pallium. So Pallium has also tried to rally up towards the middle of the bullish band and got rejected there. Not a lot of movement here, but the fact that we cannot are not able to cross above the 20 exponential and head towards the 50, that is a very worrying sign that structurally this is just going to a corner here, 200 moving average moving this way, 50 moving this way. And when those cross, this will basically tumble to the downside if you don't manage to turn this around. MACD is uh, flat, stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is uh, flat as well. But momentum looks like it's heading towards the 200 moving average and the 300 moving average. So let's look at aluminium. This is a far more... Um, bullish market as you can see we have been rallying from the very bottom here since april last year and uh, it has occasionally broken down but it's always always been in the very extremes when we got very outside of uh, outside of the bullish band this has been breaking down so we have touched uh, 20 exponential moving average which usually also is support um and if we break below there, then the 50 will come into play and the bottom of the bullish band, and that's probably as far as this will go at 24.11. MACD is bearish, stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is bearish as well. So let's look at nickel. So nickel has rallied uh, quite a bit, 19.6K, and at the moment it looks like we're going to head towards 20K. If we break above there, then who knows how far this will go. It will probably have quite a lot of resistance at the 20k level we are in a very nice upward channel where the bottom is the 50 moving average and the highs is basically the, every time we hit the, the top of the bullish band so so we have some room left here up towards 20k before we pull back and then we probably go higher as well macd is turning around but it's still bearish the casting is bullish and the rsi is bullish as well so let's look at sugar so sugar is uh, still very overstretched on the edge of being overbought. So a pullback at this point is kind of expected towards roughly the previous highs of 0 0.1877 is where probably as far as this market will go before continuing higher. Break below the middle of the bullish band, the 50 will come into play and then the very bottom here. MACD is bullish, stochastic is bullish and so is the RSI. So let's look at cotton. So cotton has had a very nice day today. Rallied, uh, got very overstretched, and at the moment, kind of expect this to pull back towards support around 0 0.19751, or roughly the previous highs here of 19, uh, roughly 19, 1966. So if we, it looks like we are going to target the previous highs here, it is a very nice upward channel every single uh, pull back towards the middle of the bullish band has been bought into as we see it right here and it kind of looks like people are by just buying the dips macd is bullish stochastic is bullish and so is the rsi so let's look at cocoa so it has tried to it rallied broke down and then ended up uh, kind of a little bit higher today in, in green we are, the MACD is still bullish, the casting is still bullish, and so is the RSI. But it kind of looks like this market is rounding out of momentum. And I wouldn't be surprised if we, uh, from two weeks from now, we'll see this market back even lower than we saw here. If you look at how this market has been behaving since December last year, it's definitely been in a downtrend with very volatile, massive swings to the upside and to the downside. And um, at the moment, kind of looked like this is just going to be another continuation of that. If we were to drop uh, below this double bottom here, then 2066 will mostly be coming to play. So let's look at wheat. Wheat has uh, made a 
massive rally up towards these very highs here and then got rejected. We're at 750 at this point and pullbacks are kind of uh, inevitable at this point. Uh, pullback towards the middle of the bullish band roughly roughly 7, uh, 710, 20 give or take. That's probably where buyers will come back in and buy this in continuation. If we break below there, then the 50 moving average comes into play, 675, and then even lower than that. MACD is bullish, stochastic is bullish, and so is the RSI. So, hope you find this helpful. You want to support your channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos, and good luck, and thank you very much.